Uh, hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is August 11th of 2017. It's uh, almost 7 p.m. <coughs> it's hot outside, sun is shining. There are uh, no lights on in the room. Of course, there's uh, sunlight coming through the shades. The shades are closed, but there's light coming through. Uh, all three of these cameras that I have are, well, these three are all Logitech USB uh, webcams, and I could have the room pretty much pitch black, and they would uh, they would do just fine. Uh, this is just going to be sort of a uh, general video blog. I've been blogging since 1982. And at some point I started making video blog. Actually, I started out sort of streaming, just streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week uh, video. And when I did that, there really wasn't, uh, the only ones I know of, knew about at that time was on the internet there was a camera pointed at a vending machine and another camera pointed at a uh, coffee pot or something you know you know at businesses and when I was sending out streaming video of course it was coming strictly there was no YouTube or any of these other places uh, the video was actually coming from my computer so my and remember computers were not uh, as powerful back then and if I probably if I had more than say 10 viewers uh, my computer would just come to a halt and that would be the you know that'd be the end I'd have to reboot and then I can remember one of the first video hosting sites see you see me I forget which one was the first but I was when they started up I was always there to give them a try so, uh, I've been a little depressed today because of, uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and learning a lot. I learn something every day from watching other people's YouTube videos and I get inspired. I learn something every day, more than one thing, and I get inspired by uh, the, what those people are able, you know, you know what they're able to do and uh, people for the most part on YouTube are good about uh, sharing their their tips and their ideas or whatever and so I'm learning it I'm wanting to do better as you as you know uh, I'm not bragging about it because it's really stupid I don't have a script uh, I don't even have notes. This is just strictly. Now what I do is, what I've started doing is opening up a few pages on my browser and then I will I can click and go to that and that'll be something maybe that, I, that uh, something I want to talk about or, or show you or something. This is my blog which I've sort of made sure over the years that <clears throat> people don't go here anymore. But uh, because I changed the, I mentioned this in the past, I did away with domain names that I had that people were going to and knew to find and, and I've deleted the old database and started fresh for various reasons. Uh, I'll mention again one of them. I had hundreds of I did a, and I forget when it was, it was years ago, on my blog, I, was, I blogged a lot. I blogged two or three times a day uh, about subjects. And uh, one time there was a news article about a mother had, uh, her 10-year-old son was giving her some, is that thunder? Her um, son had gave, gave her, was, she wanted him to do something or not do something. And uh, 
So to discipline him, she had him take off his clothes and go, I think he was like 10 years old, take off his clothes and go out in the yard and rake the leaves or something or other. And uh, of course the police got called and and whatever. And so anyway, the story appeared and I there was no picture, you know, of the boy. <laughs> I just reported, hey, this, here's what happened. Here's a link to the news story. And I don't think the mother, I think she was just stressed out. And it was very foolish of her and dangerous to, uh, to do that. But uh, I don't think anything should happen to her. And then a few days later, the news story was that, the, you know, child welfare people and the police investigated and they just told her, hey, don't do this anymore. And and uh, nothing was, you know, nothing was done. The child wasn't taken away, and she didn't get into trouble. And so I, I put that and put a link to that story. And I don't, don't know if it was like a few days, a week, or whatever. I know you, I would check. Back then, I checked my log. I could see who had logged in. Well, not who, but uh, that somebody had logged in, and they'd used a search, and they'd searched for the following. And it was like somebody had entered in 10 year old naked boy or something like that, nude boy or something like that. And the first time or two, I thought, hmm, that's odd. I thought, hmm. Uh, it just shows how stupid I was and am. I thought, that must be some 10 year old girl who wonders what a 10 year old boy looks like or something. Of course, there was no pictures or anything, and of course, I could tell too how long somebody stayed, and they were like there for ten seconds, and then they were gone, you know. And uh, but then I noticed every day, like I was getting like a hundred, two hundred people a day uh, searching, and this went on for years, uh, and sometimes the number was more than that. Of course, I had other people, you know, coming there, but that was the that was the biggest number. And uh, of course, then I realized. Of course, I realized right away. No, this is this is not uh, some little ten-year-old girl wondering what the boy across the street looks like naked, and this is not some mother or father wondering if their ten-year-old son is uh, developing sexually. Uh, you know whether his penis is the size of you know. This is some child predator, some man. So so eventually, this went on for years, and eventually I, I killed off, the, I, I totally killed off the database, the story, all the, the data, all the blog entries, and I even changed the domain name, or the dom domain, and went to a new domain, and started, that is thunder, started all over again. So I have very few people coming. Of course, I now have the, you know, this, the uh, video blog. See, I told you I had no notes. Why did I get into, why did I get into that? I'm not putting the work that I used to put into my written blog now because nobody's, <laughs> almost no, well, nobody is basically coming. Um... I have quite a few followers on Twitter, but you know, I very rarely go to Twitter. And the things that you see if you follow me on Twitter are things that uh, are coming because of because I blogged on my blog and it's posted to Twitter. I don't do it. I mean, I've set it up to automatically do it. And. Uh, so if you leave a comment or something on Twitter, uh, I'm not sure I'd even see it. I might get an email that somebody, I don't know. I, I'm i not really interested in Twitter at all. YouTube, I'm interested in YouTube. Oh, this is Facebook, never mind. Uh, I hate Facebook, but my family and friends are on Facebook. And I'm able to follow what you know, what they're doing, and all types of things. So I don't go to Facebook very often, but I do get 
messages if something gets posted there. But I just hate Facebook because I, I bet you you think that because you see Facebook, you know, I go to Facebook here and I see the stuff that has been posted from me. And I think that all that stuff is may go over to Facebook page away from my page. And I think that this stuff is that it gets posted, you know. Wait a minute, I want to check. Is this? No, it's not. Uh, okay. Oh, see. Um. Anyway, you know, I think it gets posted here, and you do too. You think that well, I posted this, you know, it showed up on my on my. Um, here's a friend of mine. Um, but it doesn't. I mean, it. It's just you don't know what people are. Uh, it's. I hate Facebook, but family and friends are there, and, and you're, it's like, I have to go there, you know, to find out there's people that, a couple people that I knew that I kept in contact with, and I found out, you know, from Facebook that they passed away. There's uh, friends of mine from years ago that I found out, you know, that had a medical problem, and ended up in the hospital, uh, just, uh, I'm forced to go check out Facebook occasionally to find out what's going on with family and friends, but I hate Facebook. Um, here's my YouTube page channel. What's uh, You know, I can see all kinds of traffic, how much traffic, how long the average people watch uh, my videos and all this type of stuff. And uh, Generally, people don't get, don't come to this channel that's the page, the main page from, you know. And I think the same for other people. Uh, if you're a subscriber and I've got... Uh, 2,286 subscribers. If you subscribe and also if you click on the thing next to, let's go to, uh, where do we want to go? Let's go to, you know, Boogie here. He just got out of the hospital and he's doing okay. But, uh, Subscribe. Where is a subscribe? Or I'm already subscribed. Okay, it's up here, but then there's maybe in other places. See where it says I'm subscribed? Okay, if you click next to this little bell thing or whatever. Oh, okay, whoops. I'm. Uh, what you want to do, and please do it for me, is click there, and that way you get a notification every time in. I upload a new video. Now, I thought I was getting notified but uh, about uh, Boogie here, but now I'm subscribed. Well, I was already subscribed. And uh, every time a video... But that's how people... Um, find out. You don't get sent to the page, the channel, you get notified of when you log into YouTube. You get notified of videos of people you're following, or videos that YouTube is pushing, or that videos that are for some reason in their system is saying, "Hey, this is something you know, and this is something you might like. This is something that uh, a lot of people are watching, or something like that," and. The YouTube system is set up to push videos that have a lot of subscribers. Uh, set up to push, I believe, if you click a, you know, uh, that you like, 
I think that may help in pushing the video, maybe not. Uh, but they also push the videos of people who upload a lot of videos. If you have a YouTube site and you upload a video once a week, eh, the YouTube system, they're not going to push, you know. If you upload three times a week or something, they, they like, you know, YouTube will they'll push push that more. If you upload every day, they'll push your other video, you know, they'll push them more. Also, they push videos that are longer because they want, they like those videos because you're watching this video and that way they can put an advertisement in at the beginning and an advertisement maybe in the middle and advertisement at the, if it's a long, if it's a five minute video, uh, what can they, you know, what can they, so they push those longer videos. Um, which is kind of strange because uh, as you know, I'm sure you know this, that if you want to, you can just unlimit it. I think you it think it stays around for like nine months. Let's see. Here's what Oh, stats this is what I need to No, why isn't that showing? Why is it not okay? Well, there's an okay, we'll click on this. Here we go. Um, my account, no, dashboard. I think we'll go to dashboard. Analytics. You get, you know, if you're a YouTube provider, you get all types of, uh, of data. Uh, over what period of time is this? The last 28 days. Okay, I have, I've had 192 likes. I've had 31 dislikes. Uh, the number of likes is up more. The number of dislikes, I'm getting less dislikes. Uh, comments are down a lot. Uh, more people have shared my video. Uh, it, that's up. Um, the number of subscribers is 41% or 41 increase. But uh, so there's revenue watch time reports. Here we go. Watch time. So let's see where does it show here. Uh, okay, it's not showing here. I don't want to spend too much time with this, but. Okay, here it is. My videos. The average view time is 2 minutes and 27 seconds. So the average view time of my videos is, you know, it's less than 3 minutes. And that's the way it is with a lot of people. Now I do know because I've asked you in the past how many people, you know, are you know, if you watched it to the, a few few times I've done it, if you watch the end of the video, say such and such, and then I'll know that you made it all the way to the end. I do that sometimes when it's like an hour or video or something. So I do know there are uh, those of you who perhaps you're driving in a vehicle and you're just listening to the uh, the audio. I hope you're not driving in a vehicle and looking at your, you know. So... Oh God! I'll come back to I'll come back to this at the end. That way you can. I've got a wish list, and not everything on the wish list is something that I actually want to get. But it's sometimes it's things that I put there that I want to remember because I want to maybe comment on them or uh, use that information some, you know, recommend it to somebody or something. I, I have a, I'm not even using it right now. I have an inexpensive uh, tripod and I need one with a fluid head. It, and this one too that I 
I got recently a little tabletop one. Oops, wrong. That's with the. That's with the. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, well, I can do it this way, can't I? I can just go to orders. Open up and link a new tab. Da 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 da. Why is my computer so slow? Okay. This one. It's a nice little desktop computer or uh, desktop, but uh, uh, it's not a fluid. It's not. I don't know if you could tell that <laughs> the whole, uh, maybe I could put some, it's not metal, I don't think, I may put some graphite in there or something. So I need a, uh, I need a, a tripod that has a, and there's a couple here, I'm not sure which one, but I'm going to pick it up one of these days. I was, um, I keep adding these external USB uh, I've had them on there off and on for and I I don't buy them but I keep the other day I was looking at uh, what because I right now I don't have a 4k well one of these is 4 I think this one is here we'll do 4k but it's a USB connected you know but I was, uh, and so I did, I think, maybe one or two 4K, well, it, the other day, it wasn't a 4K video, and it took two and a half hours to upload to YouTube that I made. I forget how long it was. So I've been, and I was looking on YouTube at uh, recommendations by from people about uh, computers that would handle processing of 4k videos and that type of stuff and it looks like you have to spend about to really get you know about two thousand uh, dollars so I was looking at different ones I put this one up you know up here on the wish list and I I think I probably will of course I'm gonna wait till I get a 4k camera but I do want to do 4K videos and uh, and I want to start really for the first time really editing the videos as you know uh, I make these videos and I just pretty much upload them the most I might do is splice together two or three little segments or something that's those videos that you see, and I always say, don't touch the mouse, and then, you know, there's, but I don't even, I don't even do that very often. Um, but I do want to start doing some video editing. But as you know, too, probably if you watched my videos, I hate to, I think that the computer should, you know, I shouldn't have to open up a manual. I shouldn't have to look and see what control keys... I just think it ought, ought to be intuitive. It just ought to, I shouldn't have to, I'm lazy, I don't want to, even when I get some product, I just want to use the product. I don't want to become an expert, I don't want to have to look at the documentation. Of course, it's getting where I have to because I'll get something and, well, this doesn't work. And then I say, oh, well, it helps if you turn on the switch, you know. You ever watch the TV show The IT Crowd? <laughs> I love that. You know, the phone rings. And have you tried turning it, your computer on and off? 
You know, they tried to make, they, I think they made one episode, I don't know if they ever showed it or not, and Moss or whatever from the UK, the IT crowd was a UK British, you know, video, and I just love that show. I was sorry when they stopped, although I was getting kind of tired of the same. But anyway, I, I just wish that, uh, good show, funny. Um, anyway, um, I do not need a new cell phone, although what I have been thinking about is doing videos for YouTube and using a cell phone because the cameras now in these cell phones are fucking terrific. And But I've been interested in photography since I was in grade school and had different cameras over all the years and uh, man it sure was nice to go from film to digital I think I mentioned this before a couple of times I had this friend that was into computers too and he'd come over to the house about maybe twice a month and we'd get pizza and uh, talk about computer and politics and uh, other other things and uh, he he came in one time and he had he had a digital camera. They were brand new. I'm not sure that I even knew that they. And I forget what he paid for. I think it was over a thousand dollars. I forget. I couldn't believe it. But that was the first time I saw a digital camera. I believe. Maybe I'd seen them online. Maybe I paid no attention to them because of the price of how much they were. But. What a revolution. I am interested a little bit in this 360 degree videos. I've been watching some of those on YouTube where you can see 360, but you can also take and just move around and you can look over where you want to look as a person is. And I put this one on the wish list but I see it's only got three stars, and I, I, uh, excuse me, I watched the video, and the uh, video wasn't all that, you know, the video wasn't that great, I mean, the sharpness and what have you. I think I should get a a Lena Trump mag icebox magnet for the uh, icebox door or for my whiteboards, they're magnetic. And uh, it's only $5. I could have a nude first lady on my... Uh, too, I think I do need something for the walls here. I've never put up anything for the walls. So I'm thinking about getting, for the first thing, it's 18 by 24. And it's uh, cameras. And let's see. Oh, of course, I didn't have an expensive one like this. This, but where can I get over to? Uh, what don't I mean? The twin ends reflex. There. Not, I never had a Rolf, Rolex Rolex. I had a less expensive one. I love the twin lens reflex. You know what I I should do? And, okay, my cameras are someplace. I should, now that I, you know, I have, I should flip out the uh, LCD screen and actually it would be almost like a twin lens reflex. I've had a bunch of these cameras Canon AE-1, gave that to my oldest daughter. Uh, anyway, I think I may get that for the wall. I should have some stuff on the wall, I think. Should have, I love movies so much, I should have some movie posters for the wall. Whoops. I think this is my, no, this is the wish list, okay. Thought I'd switch to, 
Oh, as you know, I have ter terrible, I'm confined to one room now since my ex-wife and my grown son moved in here. I had to toss out a lot of stuff and uh, to make room for them and uh, I think I'm going to get this storage thing. It's only $22. And then these things fit, each one of these will fit inside of here. And uh, see right now one of the things I've got Damn, this I do need a fluid head for the, you know, this. See those over there? They were a do dollar a piece. Those containers from the dollar store. And I've got a uh, ton of stuff in, you know, in there. But I I want to get this. Uh, let me move this thing back here. that place on my head it still has not totally healed up but at least it's not uh, it, there is a slight improvement in it it's uh, not bleeding so much that it scabs up now so maybe it'll eventually get better yeah I'll see this I'm gonna have to I don't have any graphite I don't think I have any three in one well, I wouldn't want to use three in one OL I'm not sure if the graphite would, I guess the graphite would work on plastic to plastic, which I guess that is. But So I'm going to get these containers. And two, I think what I need to get eventually is one of these exercise bikes. I can't, I'm not, ouch, I had a pain. Ow, pain in my eye. Oh, I still have pain in my eye. Uh, terrible to get old and fall apart. Ouch. can barely make it to the office to pick up the mailboxes at the office and back. When I walk down there to pick up the mail and come back, I, I feel like I'm not going to make it back here. I'm so... I... Uh, if somebody sees me too stumbling and weaving, they'd probably think I'm an alcoholic. I don't drink at all. Zero. Never have. But, uh, uh, at least here, I could <laughs> put the bike right here and pedal it while I watch something on Netflix or something every day for a certain amount of time. And if, at least if I collapse, I, I could either fall on my own floor instead of in the traffic. Or I could fall. Get, I mean, I could stumble over to my bed. So I do want to get. Uh, now I'd like to have, which I don't need and which I won't get. I would like to have one of those exercise bikes that has the screen, and where you, I've never seen one. I mean, I, other than online, because you're not going to catch me at a. Uh, health club or whatever um, but I would like to have one of those where you have the big screen and then you're doing like you're writing a you know like you, you put in different locations and you're writing a course and it you know you see the scenery and the move and up if it's up a hill the uh, it gets harder to pedal and stuff like that would be nice but that's they're way too much money and I think I'm going to get this Panasonic G7 4K. And, but I am really, you know, because I just keep buying cameras. And I think on the other hand, 
maybe I should just get a a cell phone and exp you know I have uh, a blue and this does everything I think it has three gig of memory and it uh, it does you know everything I want I don't uh, Just, just fine. Uh, now you know it has a built-in battery. Of course, I'd kind of like don't do this, but if the battery died, then I'd have an excuse to uh, get a new cell phone. But I'm thinking, should I get a cell phone and just try to do videos and make good videos using a cell phone? Uh, but I think I really want to go with with this uh, camera and maybe what I should do is because it uses you know to, I could uh, I think I just ought to get it with sort of the with the 14 to 42 lens and maybe at the same time I'll get this uh, 25 millimeter lens f1.7 but I was thinking you know because you can buy it just the camera and then you can put what lens you want on I could buy this camera and then put this lens on it but I would be kind of limited but I think this is the kind of videos that I want to make with this uh, 25 millimeter uh, lens I think that's the kind of and I do, I think, want to get away from USB webcams like, you know, like this. Um, by the way, I purchased some little tiny magnets. I mean, I have two whiteboards set up here, and I keep information on the whiteboards. And I don't know why I, I just can't seem to... Uh, use the computer. I mean, I have, I pay for office. And now before cell phones or I used to use the Palm device. I had, I was one of the original buyers of the Palm and I upgraded a couple of times and I used the other one other than the Palm. That, uh, and it had it came with what desktop that worked on your computer, and I loved that, and used that, but now I use these whiteboards. I have over there a list of all the things I have to pay this month, and I check them off, and that way I can look and see what's coming up, so I don't get surprised. When you're on a very limited income, you don't want to get surprised by a big bill. And then I have other things up there, and I put them on there. And but anyway, I purchased some little tiny. Well, I didn't know they were that small. Uh, but uh, it's working out great, sticking because they're so powerful. Sticking things onto the whiteboard with those magnets. Um, I think I'll sometime when I order, I will uh, order. I just can't bring myself to spend a lot of money for uh, one of these microphones. I purchased one of their inexpensive microphones, but I need another Echo Dot. I, the one I had, remember, all the time you were hearing it go off. I put that in the in uh, where the area where Darlene, my ex-wife, where she's in there. It's in the kitchen dining room area, and she. I was surprised. I didn't think she would use it. She actually uses it to ask the time and uh, stuff like that. Oh, maybe you could help me if you watch. Uh, what's the guy's name anyway? On his desk, he has a large mat that is. So I did a search when I couldn't find it for desk for. Uh, desk mat or whatever but it's the things you would aim a camera at 
for focus because he has it on the desktop as a mat and I'd like to have one of those I don't know what it costs it's a big one but I would like to have that have one of those so if you happen to know what they're called or if you happen to uh, find one on Amazon or something let me know I don't need an, another but I did I don't need another mouse but I put that on here because of it it's new and uh, you'll see that I have I have the uh, okay well it's not dark in this video but it's <laughs> dark in this room uh, I also have several lights I'm only using one but I don't have one that's exactly like this but uh, and I'm thinking about you know getting this and mounting it on a camera for audio that's what I worry about when I go to when I make videos which I want to start doing is use you know a digital camera instead of and uh, but that's going to mean editing and if I move it around and all that type of stuff so but uh, I do want the audio to be good and if the audio sometimes is not the greatest anyway I guess we got to go to my god I can't whoops oh no back there you go wow uh, I was in civil defense back during the Cold War when I was in grade school when I no high school when I was in high school, I was in civil defense. Kansas City, Missouri Civil Defense, we met at the City Hall. And this was during the Cold War when uh, you were being, t school kids were retoning about, you know, duck and cover. And when uh, there were fallout shelters and there had signs outside, this is a, there's a fallout, there's a shelter here, here where people are building uh, things in their backyard, in the ground. Uh, and if we had 15 people for Kansas City, Missouri, if we had 15 people show up for civil defense meetings, that was a lot. Uh, I was in civil defense. I was, of course, we saw the uh, early videos from Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and we saw you know the test videos made of buildings and dummies and were mannequins being blown up and and stuff uh, I was trained to, in light rescue I was trained in to be a radiological monitor we had class at uh, uh, UMKC University of Kansas City University of Missouri at Kansas City uh, trained in some other things too uh, I was in the Ground Observer Corps watching for enemy aircraft uh, and here we are and the Cold War came to an end and here we are now with Trump raving against the crazy man and he's sounding as crazy as the crazy man uh, everything just seems like it's going to hell in a handbasket. I was not for Hillary Clinton because I had to vote for her because I couldn't vote for Donald Trump. And uh, you know here <laughs> I haven't clicked on it but here President Trump is threatening North Korea and there's a link here that says Marine Ground All Aircraft. U.S. Marines ground aircraft for 24 hours following crash. Okay, I think they're, they don't think they grounded all aircraft. I think they grounded uh, this one that takes off vertical, let's see. The military said the search for three missing Marines. God, I fucking hate 
not just CNN but others where the audio where the video starts especially the audio okay sounds like all aircraft that's not good that we're threatening it says all aircraft I, well, I'm not going to read but is it MV-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft last week crash off Australia and oh by the way I should have told you if you don't want to hear about politics I'm going to talk about this a little bit and then the video is going to end so if you don't want to hear about some politics and me raving and ranting good fine leave now just come back someday you know um, and Trump is apparently not ruling out military options in Venezuela uh, what would a US first strike look like man felt found dead in elevator a month after he called for help I did read that one a man who had failing mental, you know, Alzheimer's or dementia or something like that, was missing and couldn't be found. And uh, he he found his way into an elevator in a part of an apartment complex or something where that elevator really wasn't being used. That area was being reconstructed or whatever, but he managed to push the help button twice because it rang in but I don't even think the company that it rang into was in the city it was someplace else and the company says that they informed the apartment complex people and the apartment complex people said that they checked the elevators uh, but they didn't check that elevator because that was in an area that elevator wasn't used and that elevator you know now I don't know whether they had security or not. I worked security for over 30 years and there was uh, back a year or so ago they found some somebody was missing and they uh, at a hospital and they found after a month or so or a year or I forget how long a long time uh, they found the the guy's body or was it a woman can't remember now and it sounded like a ma machinery room or an air handling room and those doors of course are supposed to be locked but apparently the door must have been ajar or something the person went in some of those air handling rooms in hospitals and apartment buildings and uh hotels and things like that you know quite often the doors don't you know close properly some maintenance guy goes in to do something and maybe housekeeping right inside the door they have a key and maybe they keep their mops or something there and, but it, and they don't close the door good so yet when you have security they go check all the doors but uh, and some of them like them go back away so somebody could just go inside and and then not go back. I when I made my rounds, I opened up. Now I couldn't open. I didn't. I couldn't spend. I couldn't. But I would open up. Eventually, I would open up all and go into every area of the hospital when I worked at the hospital. Now, of course, it was the hospital that I worked at for. Well, at first for five and a half years, I worked there, and for two or three of those years, I was on the midnight shift, and it was a gigantic hospital and uh, the day shift would have six or seven security officers and on midnight shift we would have three security officers and we had to cover parking lots uh, all types of stuff and there was several years where the only time I went into the hospital was to time in in the morning and time out in uh, when I went home and go in for lunch to the directly to the cafeteria and then back outside 
and there was just a supervisor was in at night to take care of the inside. Of course, if there was a disturbance or whatever, then we would go, you know, but couldn't check anything then. But I, I worked, uh, when I worked security in Miami at the, at the mall, I was the only one I, that, you know, they would check the doors, outside doors on like a building, a small building out, out there might be where they kept uh, combustible stuff, you know, fluids or oil or stuff like that. Uh, when I made my rounds, I couldn't do it every time because they had a system set up where they would call you on the radio, you know, time to check the Coke machines, time to check the intercoms in, you know, and there was, especially one time, well, there was more than one time, I would see something that needed to be taken care of, and they would call and say, time to check the Coke machines. And I'd say, uh, well, I think I need, no, it's time to check the Coke, he had it on his, you know. But I would go and check, not just check to make sure the office, these doors were, you know, secure, but I would unlock them, go in and look around to see if there is a fire, to see if there is a motor of some type of running that is uh, binding up and is heating up and is going to catch fire or see if somebody is in, you know, in there. Just because the door was locked doesn't mean somebody didn't go in there and close the door, you know. And there was times I'd have another security officer would, like when I was working one place, one hospital, I would be, you know, patrolling and sometimes I would just park the patrol car get out and walk around in, in a, a parking lot between some cars and whatever and uh, check a certain, check an area or whatever and I'd come back and the other patrol car might be there, oh, uh, did you get locked out of the, of the car? Is the car broke down? What are you doing outside of the car, you know? When I would patrol, I'd be, a lot of the time, most of the time, if I could, I would have the window rolled down, even when it was really hot or really cold. I would have the window roll down so I could hear if I heard somebody yelling for help or if there was a crash or an explosion or a gunshot or something like that. And the other guys, a lot of them, all of them, would have their windows rolled up and they'd be listening to, some of them would be listening to the radio, you know. So it just breaks my heart when something like, you know, this, now I don't know whether they had security or not, and if they did have, who knows, they could, might have had orders of, no, nope, don't check that area there, you know, who knows. Uh, well, I had a couple of lottery tickets, so, and I didn't win. I sure would like to have won. I would, if I'd have won, I think I'd be in Australia or New Zealand. The only problem, Australia has every every creature down there, whether it's in the water or whether it's creeping on the ground or flying in the air or air or everything is poisonous and deadly. I wonder if maybe New Zealand doesn't have all those creatures. I sure hate to win a lottery. You know, Australia's picked as, when they picked the, uh, you know, the top 10 cities or whatever, Melbourne and Sydney are like number one and two or the other way around, two, and, you know. And uh, I would be, I'd be gone. I'd also like to own an island. Did you see on the news where they had like the U.S. government is selling five uh, light, lighthouses? Uh, I would, I would have loved but the only thing is, I saw the pictures of them. And of course, you know, the lighthouse is here. They're out in the middle of the water. They're not on the edge of land. They weren't one of these that's on the edge of land. They're out in the middle of the water. And it looked like a two-story or three-story climb up from the boat to get to it. I wouldn't be able to now, to, I wouldn't be able to climb up two or three rungs. So, Guess if I won a lottery, I could have somebody rig an elevator on the side for me or something. But anyway, that'd be kind of like I'd like to own a lighthouse, but I wouldn't be able to climb up, you know. Not now. 
all the stuff. Mom who suffocated newborn sues hospital. Mother tries to mail baby to orphanage. Oh, I just... Why do I even look at the, at the mail? How to travel if you're young and broke. Hey, how can I travel if I'm old and broke? Facebook launches video service. Facebook launches new do not start. Facebook launches new watch video service. Oh, fuck. I'd like to fucking kill these people. Uh, uh, I should edit that out, I think. Facebook just launched its new video. The reason I was because it started your, uh, you know, uh, because the audio and the video started especially the audio. Facebook has just announced its new video service called Watch. This week's launch is a limited test for some users in the U.S. before the company rolls out the feature globally, according to Facebook. So I guess it's going to be like YouTube. I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>